Hey everyone, it's me again, and it's time to watch some videos. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and we're starting off with some behavior. So we introduce this little young buck to the buck pen. And you can see we got Jed, which is the black and white buck, and he was a blizzard son. And Pappy, uh, the... Well, they're both black and white, I suppose, but Jed is the one with the little horns. And Pappy is the one sniffing the little guy's butt. And I think that little guy's name was Spencer. We didn't have him too long. He didn't quite fit into my program. But he was a good little boy and he went to a good home afterwards. And he could tell he's a little freaked out. Bless his heart. He's like, I don't know what's going on. One minute I'm just a little kid. The next minute I'm a young man. And I'm thrown into this pen with these older men. And they're acting inappropriately. But that's good, you know. That's natural. They would be around other males like that. And they would learn behavior like that. <laughs> you can see my shadow. I'm leaning on the gate. And he's like, save me. Save me, please. And I'm like, oh, sorry. You are a little man now. Oh, bless him. He says, I don't want these big scary dudes sniffing me. Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad for him. But he's settled in pretty good. And you can see they're not being mean to him. They just want to sniff him and dominate over him. You can see some dominant behavior. That's the same behavior they would show towards a doe. That kind of snaking behavior with the neck and head. And I forgot what a pretty head Jed had. Look at that dished muzzle. Oh, he's so pretty. And of course, Pappy was a gorgeous boy, too. Made a lot of beautiful babies. And actually, I believe Jed there is Pinky's daddy. Uh, yeah, he's Pinky and Inky's daddy. Uh, they were not sired by Blizzard. They were sired by Jed, Blizzard's son. Uh, he's such a little stud in this video. Look at him walk. Now, he did settle in, and he did relax, and he had a good time living with his buddies. We've got Captain being silly. Pretty girl. Lovely black doe. I forget who her mother was. She went to a new home. I think Pepper. I want to say Pepper was her mother. She sure looks like Pepper in the face. She was so sweet and friendly. Such a good girl. She had a real good sense of humor. Oh, just punched poor Nitro. I'll punch you too. Now, I want to be a milker. But no, not this year, Captain. Not this year. We got some more Z team playing. Good old running wrestle. Oh, right. Poor little Z. She had that scrape on her face. It took forever to heal. Uh, we think she might actually have an autoimmune disorder. Cause I don't know if you've seen her in some of our more recent videos, but she's got this big scrape on her nose. It just won't heal. So we're going to have a biopsy run on it and see what we can find out. Because that's no no good. No good to have a scrape that won't heal. So look at him go. Oh, imagine having that much energy. I don't know. She thinks she's running out of it. Oh, Anna, why are you so mad? She was always mad at them puppies. They say, y'all better not be playing around me. Do you see how big you are and how small I am? Look at her making faces. <laughs> they knew she was boss. Or they know she's boss. But yes, yes, we know. We won't play with you. It's like, Anna, my goodness. You're so grumpy. They're like, please play with us. Let her bite her whole head. My goodness. Yeah, I don't blame Anna for not wanting to play with you big old puppies. Oh my goodness. Much less goat this week than other critters. Oh, that's okay. They're part of the farm too. I think this was the first time Apple and Pi were together. And I wasn't sure at first they'd ever be together because Apple was really aggressive at the start. But after a couple months of them sharing fence lines and talking to each other... Uh, one day it, it felt safe. And it was. You know, we got a little posturing and kicking out. While Pi noses around and says, do you got any milk? 
I had a mama once that had milk. Well, there's no milk in that milk bar. That milk bar's been dried up, like, 12 years, so. No milk in that milk bar, and she's being a little rude right now, but that's a baby for you. And Apple's being very tolerant. So I knew at this point that it would be okay. Yeah, there was some fuss in, but that's to be expected. She's got to set boundaries and say what's okay and what's not okay. And she did. And Pyrite pushes those boundaries at every turn, because that's what a little pony does. But yeah, I, I knew it was a good time. They were doing good. And sure enough, Apple's, I think, well, it's hard to say if she likes Pyrite. But she hasn't eaten her alive, so we're going to go with she tolerates her and probably likes having her more than not. Because, you know, as grumpy as Apple might be, she's still a herd animal. And, you know, goats make good little friends, but it's not the same thing as having a equine companion. So, it took us a while to find a pony that fit and a pony that works, but we did in the end. And it's our little pie, and she looks so teeny weeny. She's grown a good bit since then, but she's she's gonna be a little girl, obviously. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something nice and small, something easy to move around, something easy to handle, uh, something that would be okay with the goats, and something that was you know just nice to have around. And I found exactly what I was looking for. And you can see she's trying to get Apple to react to her and pay attention to her. And Apple's giving her a little bit and then just kind of moving off and saying, mm, I'm not really into those shenanigans. Pirate says, but please, I need a mommy. I had a mommy once. And then I came here and there was no mommy. Apple says, I'm not your mama, girl. That ship sailed. I didn't even like being a mama to my own babies. I was thinking, well, I guess a friend might be better than nothing, right? So, seeing some good, good signs here. And now we're getting some grazing together. That's really the key. All right, that looks like it's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed those videos, and I will see you guys next week.